Hello, we are coming at you today with a circuit board ring. We're going to take a black ceramic hammered band with a red MSI motherboard and just do a little inlay work. Stick around and see how we do it. The first step in this is going to be figuring out how long of the motherboard we need to cut. So we're going to take the diameter, add a couple of millimeters to that diameter, times it by pi, and that'll give us the length that we need to cut. Go into our laser, which is well ventilated, and the laser is going to make quick work of doing this exact cut width and length that we need. And then I've done this a couple times since this video, and now I know that I run the laser a little bit longer so that it can cut all the way through. That would help avoid this next step, which is punching this piece out, which is, was a little difficult not being able to have the laser cut. I couldn't really find a good way to punch this out here. Uh, I eventually get it, so the laser did make it quite thin, and then it did get through some areas, but not all the areas. So I'm just trying to punch it out here with the razor blade and, and cut the little bit that's left. All right, I'm testing the fit now. Uh, for uh, width, it looks like we have a good width. It, I think I would have liked it to be a little bit tighter, but this is a good, a good width and it fit perfectly. Next up, we're gonna sand off all the excess material so that we can get this underneath the edge walls so that we can apply a finish over top. And as I've done this a couple other times, this step I would sand a lot longer and make this piece as thin as possible to a point where maybe only the red strip part is left. It will help with bending it and adhering it later on. And it was well, also it's quite durable as it's super thin as well. I didn't really worry about it uh, breaking or anything. Here I'm trying to heat to see if the heat will help bend it, but ultimately I think just sanding it to be thinner was the better option. We're doing a little bit of extra thick and I'm going to spread that around a little bit. Spray accelerator onto the motherboard piece and then lay that down on the adhesive. Sorry about the lens, I should have put it on a uh, manual focus so that it would stop going in and out. But anyway, I'm just going to do that one little spot at a time, a little bit of adhesive, a little bit of accelerator, and then pull down. Now that ripped just because, again, this was too thick of a piece. I should have sanded more off of the bottom so that it was easier to bend. All right, we got it all through. My calculations uh, for the length was a little bit off. So going forward, I'm going to just add a little bit to the total just so I have enough. Here I cut another piece out and then I'm going to try to cut uh, lengthwise to fill that little void. A good dry fit here so I'm gonna do the same method a little bit of adhesive spread around and then I'll throw that little piece back in there
I'm just going to use a cutoff blade to push it down as far as I can. I felt like the edges were a little too high and there was room to go down. And so this is what I'm trying to do now. Push it underneath the channel, which ultimately will give us room for the finish. Perfect. We got the inlay. Now we want to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to use some acetone. I didn't know if the acetone would remove the red or have any effect with the motherboard. So give it a good test on this piece and it looks like we're good. So give a, this a good acetone rub until it's ready for the finish. For the finish, I'm choosing to use a UV curing resin. Mostly because it just is a big gap that we have to fill here. Go for another layer, I'm going to just bring it above the ring so that we can just sand and uh, shape the finish to the right shape that we need. Let that cure and then we'll bring it to the wood lathe where we will shape the finish now. Before I go all the way down, I want to clean up the edges with any uh, finish that got on to the, those facets again. I think it's easier now than later. So I'll just take a razor blade and, and cut those, clean up those edges. As I said in other videos, we really don't want any finish on the metal as it looks bad. So our goal is to make it as clean as possible. We'll take our sanding, start at 220, and then I go 400, up the grits up until around 2000, and then complete with a Zam polish at the end. Using the light to get as much as the micro scratches off as possible. And then we're going to use the clean buffing wheel to clean off all of the, any compound that may, might remain. And then here we have it. I will most likely clean up those edges a little bit more as I see some finish on those edges. So I'll probably take a razor blade and, and finesse with that until it's clean. But other than that, I really like the way that this turned out. The mother, red motherboard on that black ceramic is one of my favorite pieces now. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, y'all, and we'll see you on the next one.